Good morning. exciting news as well as just some fun updates so first let's talk about the exciting news tomorrow I have a job interview I'm excited over the last couple months I've been thinking about getting a job so let me do a little recap for you guys I do content creation full-time and I really do love it but it also puts a lot of pressure on me to be on social media a lot to always be filming everything I do to be kind of public with my life which I don't love to do don't get me wrong never gonna quit YouTube I will always love it it. but it would be nice if my main stream of income was coming from somewhere other than YouTube so that I just post what I love not like oh it's a job because sometimes it just feels like a job so as you guys know last year at the end of the year I got my life insurance license and I did that and I hated it like literally I thought it was the worst thing ever I looked into doing other stuff with insurance like maybe getting health insurance license or other licenses like that but I just don't think that I'm a creative person I'm not like a salesperson and insurance is basically just sales so I was looking into just like some media type jobs at companies and I found one that I applied for we've actually applied for a couple of them but they want an interview with me so this is like the third step in the application slash interview process and I have an actual formal interview it's a zoom interview tomorrow so over the past couple months I've applied to a couple different places I've only had one other job interview it was kind of something that my mom had set up for me and I don't know I would have had to move to Florida for it and I did not want to do that but I did the interview so it was a good little practice um if I do get the job or whatever it'll be a remote job which would be really nice and basically helping with social media for a company specifically YouTube too so it's perfect but I'm not trying to get my hopes up or like make a big announcement that I have a new job but I think it's kind of fun to show real life and like I feel like this is a coming of age moment being in my 20s and trying to get my first like big girl job or whatever you want to call it where I work Monday through Friday nine to five type of vibe because that's what this job would be and it'd be salary so I think that would just be really nice to have like a stable income because with YouTube it's never stable it can be so much more than you ever thought and then it can also be so much less than you were expecting and that can be a problem when trying to pay bills so I am very interested in having a job to bring stability into my life as far as like having an actual structure to my day like oh I have to work and go to work or do it on my laptop or whatever so I'm kind of prepping for that thinking about things that I can say I need to pick out what I want to wear anyway and then my other little just update is that I got approved for the apartment that I really want so I'm gonna be moving in there in August so moving videos coming soon and I'm trying to figure out should I start packing now should I wait until I'm like two weeks out and I've moved so many times but this is the first time other than when I bought my house in Missouri and moved like my literal just bed into my house because I was living with my parents and moved into a house. This is the first time I'm just moving in the same city. So I don't know how this works because I could literally just make 10 trips in my car if I wanted to. So do I even like need to pack things? I'm gonna get a U-Haul one day to do all the big stuff, but I have five days in between when that lease starts and when this one ends so I can kind of go back and forth for a little bit. I don't know. Anyway, having a good time over here. Um, because I got this job interview, I have to reward myself. The smallest things, like not even like did the job interview or got the job, just got a job interview. I'm gonna play Sims. Yep. Probably for the rest of the day. And then we'll prepare for the interview tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm like over romanticizing a nine to five job, but it just sounds like so nice and stable and like a normal human. Um, <laughs> but imagine I go to work or I work from home, whatever, and then I come home and I stream and I play Sims for the rest of the night. That sounds like a dream come true to me. And my boyfriend already works Monday to Friday, nine to five. So it'd be awesome. We're on the same schedule and we hang out after work. Like, that sounds like a whole mood. Watching Sims while I play Sims, it's loading right now. I also literally did my nails yesterday, and this one, I peeled off the nail polish, I ripped these two off, and I'm currently ripping this one off. I, I just can't have fake nails because I want to rip them off. I'm actually a little bit disgusted by myself because that first clip I took was, mm, I don't know, 2 o'clock, and I stopped playing Sims at 6 o'clock. It felt like it was only 10 minutes. 
guys, it's so bad. But I'm being not productive because I might potentially get a nine to five job where I won't be able to play Sims all day. So I gotta soak it up right now. It is Tuesday now. I just got done working out. I'm gonna hop in the shower and get ready for this interview. Showered up, it's time to get ready. I need to do my hair, my makeup, and then this is what I'm gonna wear. And then we're gonna spice it up just a little bit more and add a little blazer. It's like a casual blazer, so it's actually a really cute outfit, honestly. I'm loving it. Um, okay, I'm gonna take it off while I get ready. I'm gonna do some simple makeup and then just get my hair to not look like this. <laughs> and I have 40 minutes to get ready, so let's get to it. I'm kind of nervous because I've only done one other interview and that interview was very like laid back and chill. So if this one's the same type of vibe and I'm good, but I'm nervous. <laughs> like, I don't know how to answer interview type questions. I'm literally just gonna pull it out of nowhere and BS my way through it. But honestly, I don't think there's much BSing I really need to do because they literally want someone to be a YouTuber for their company. Is that not what I do? And it's about real estate, which I know a good amount about. And my dad is a real estate agent, a broker, and a landlord. My three of my brothers are real estate agents and one of my cousins. And my mom always helped my dad when they were married. And my stepdad and my mom are also invested in real estate. I am a landlord, I bought a house. So like, I know my stuff, okay? So I think I can do it. If I do get this job, it's definitely gonna be a big change for me. This might sound stupid, but I've never had a job before. Um, I have been doing content creation since I was 14 and I started making like actual money like good money on it when I was 16 I was able to save a lot of money living at home in high school not spending any money having no bills and then it's made good money since yeah but I'm just like well one I would like more money <laughs> is that not why we get jobs for money right um stable income because YouTube is not reliable and I feel like another thing that would be really nice is knowing like with YouTube, if I wanna make money, I need to consistently post and be coming up with good ideas and go, go, go. It's very hustle culture because you're self-employed. But if it's another company, then I feel like I can be a little bit more relaxed, like really take my time with a video, which I should probably do on my own channel in the first place, which I feel like I do, but I also think it'll help me with my personal channel when I'm not relying on it for income and I'm just doing what makes me happy and what's fun and what you guys like as well. I think that'll just be a good change. But I also don't wanna hype this up too too much because maybe I don't get this job maybe I don't get a job for a while I don't know also if you think about it me having a job will give me content to make videos about so I just feel like people are tired and I'm tired of the same thing every day like not having a job that I go to and then I'm like oh day in my life and it's like no one else relates to that everyone else has a job and if you think about it if I had a job where I was making a stable income and then also was making money from YouTube like all the YouTube money could go to savings and I I just really want to set myself up for the future. So yeah, I mean, I don't think I need to explain why I want a job to you guys. I think everyone wants a job. Like we want jobs, but we don't want jobs. You know what I mean? And I am not complaining. I know that it's literally a privilege to make money just doing life. And I'm so thankful for you guys for that. It has been quite the journey and it still will be. Whether I get this job or not, this is still my life. But I'm just trying to give you both perspectives, I guess. Okay, the mascara is going on a bit clumpy right now. Um, I just need to take a minute and let it dry and then like fix it. And you might be like, oh, well, if it's YouTube that, you know, it can be a lot, then why be a YouTuber for a company? Well, I realized that it really is my passion. I love making videos, but it can just be stressful to know what to make videos about. So if I was doing it for someone else and they're basically telling me what to do, what to make the videos about, that's like 10 times easier. Rather than try to do something that has nothing to do with video making, content creation. Like this is what I love to do. I will never stop loving it. All right, hair needs a little help. I'm gonna attempt to use this guy. We are physically ready. Now I need to get my laptop ready, make sure like Zoom is up to date and write down any questions that I might have. I might actually set up my laptop right here because I like this background and I'm in front of the window. And I brought up this chair because it's a little better than a pink chair. So let me clean up my space. Okay, that looks better. I'm actually gonna plug in this webcam because it's just so much better quality than a Mac camera. I would use my mic too, but then I'd have to sit over there and have my bed as the background. All right, so this just clips on, and then plug it in, and then make sure it's actually using it. Oh wow, that looks so much better. Let me show you the before and after. Okay, so this is before. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like super grainy. I need to adjust the angle, but it looks so much better. I'm like, how do I show this? 
Okay, it's about to start. I think I'm literally gonna record it. I probably won't put any of it in, but for myself, you know. Good, how are you? Can you hear? Oh wait, I'm muted. Okay, can you hear me? Okay, I literally could not have asked for a better job. I'm in shock how like, they were so cool and very like relaxed. They said they have a very extensive interview process because they only want to hire people who they like and are going to be good workers and really accomplish their goals. So I'm going to be doing, so I did this interview and then they want me to do like a trial video for them so they can kind of see what I would be producing for them. And then we'll do a final interview. But they were telling me like, you're our favorite and it's really, really hard to find someone who can fully produce a video from start to finish and be like fun on camera. So it sounds like they're like ready to hire me. They just got to keep going through the process to make sure it's the right fit but they have really good benefits as well so I like literally thank you God because I feel like he literally just put this in my lap I wasn't even thinking about getting a job soon I just randomly hopped on and was like looking at some jobs like hmm, I'm just gonna look and I found this I was like hmm, I'm just gonna apply and then I almost didn't even like reply to their email and I was like yeah may as well and then I was like uh, do I ever want to do the interview wait well, may as well are you kidding me this is literally perfect I'm actually gonna cry I think I should reward myself by playing sims again <laughs> But I'm very excited to get their email on what kind of video they want me to make. Oh, they also are giving me complete like creative freedom. This is literally my dream job because I get to do what I love to do without having to be the one in charge of the business side of this. I won't have to be like self-employed anymore. So I'm so excited. And then I can vlog about what I actually do in a day. I just changed into some sweatpants because I don't have anywhere to be until like six o'clock tonight. So I'll vibe till I need to go, then I'll change. But also remember how I said that, oh, I can just BS my way through it. I didn't have to BS anything. Like I am qualified for this job and they really like me. And the CEO said I reminded him a lot of his little sister who's also 21 and he's like 35. My oldest brother is like 27. So, and he also runs a startup company. So they are the same, we're the same vibe. <laughs> anyway, so I called my mom, my dad and told them about it. Uh, I was texting my boyfriend about it, texting one of my friends about it and then called one of my brothers about it. And then he was doing anything. So we're gonna play some games together to celebrate and just to hang out. So I'm excited, I really hope it goes well in the next two like interview things that I have to do. Wish me luck. I just threw some sausage potatoes and green beans in the Instapot so I can eat some lunch. Also, I've been drinking these and they're so good. They're literally like, do you guys remember the ice drinks? I used to drink them in like middle school at lunch, but it's like the same thing, but this is sugar-free, zero calories. So I don't believe in drinking calories anymore. There's just a bunch of calories I didn't need. So I always do sugar-free and these are really, really good. Um, they just didn't have the ice brand at HEB when I went. So I like the mango ones. Is that what it is? Mango, the orange ones. I love orange flavored things, but I already drank them all. So let me drink the strawberry. Played some games with my brother and now I'm gonna go to Bible study. So see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. I actually woke up early today because I'm so excited. Um, it's not even nine o'clock yet. I still need to work out and all that, but I wanna get started on this work first because I'm just so excited. So basically they said, me over the first video that I need to make for them and this is to see if they want to hire me but don't worry because they said that if they don't hire me that they'll still pay me for the video so that's good which is a really good sign green flag of a company <laughs> um the awesome part is that they have this blog already and they basically want me to take their blog articles and turn them into YouTube videos so it's already scripted for me I already have all the information I need I just have to record it and then add like graphics and like b-roll like literally so easy <laughs> but um, um, I really want to show all of my skills and talent in this, so I'm going to sit down, actually script this out, actually plan what I'm going to say, my shots, all of that stuff. I really need to figure out what my background is going to be because I don't really have like a studio. I just have my room and then my living room and my living room has awful lighting and I don't want to film with my bed in the background. That's just like unprofessional. I don't know. I'm kind of stressing. All right, let's get started. I literally almost forgot and then I picked up my bag, realized my Bible was in it. So before I get started with anything, I'm going to spend some time with God and praise Him and worship. So let's do that. So I just got started scripting. I've been doing it for maybe 30 minutes now. Um, basically, like I said, I'm taking their blog post, turning it into a script for a YouTube channel, but the blog post has a lot of extra words in it because it's a blog. With a YouTube video, you really want to stay quick with it. So I'm taking like four paragraphs they have and making it into one sentence. Um, so it's a little bit of a struggle, but I'm getting through it. And I'm also practicing saying it out loud because I don't know how I'm gonna memorize this whole thing to be able to say on camera. But um, I'm on I'm basically section three out of 10 because it's like a top 10 list. So I'm just now starting the third. Wish me luck. <laughs> 
Okay, I just finished scripting. It was a little bit annoying, but honestly at the same time kind of fun. But I need to get ready to film, so I'm actually gonna like shower and do my makeup and everything. So I kind of threw something together in front of that door. Hopefully this works. Why is it so dark right now? I just got done filming. I don't even know how long that took. Probably an hour. Like a literal hour of filming. Because reading off a script is really hard. Trying to memorize it, saying the right things, not messing up the words. And I'm dyslexic, so that does not help. But I think I did a pretty good job. Um, who knows? I might have to refilm it if I hate it because this needs to be a top tier. But now I get to do the fun part, which is editing. I'm also very hungry. I honestly might Uber eat some food here. I could really use a Red Bull. Don't have any. Could really use some coffee, but... I don't want to make any, so I'm just chilling. <laughs> here with a little update, I actually refilmed the entire thing just right here, and I ended up using my really nice mic, and it sounded so much better. I also went downstairs and turned off my air conditioning, because if you can hear my videos, there's always this loud, I'm sure you can hear it. That's my AC, so hopefully my new apartment doesn't do that. I do live in Texas though, so I'm not surprised. Turned that off, I was really sweaty, but I also acted just a lot more casual, more myself, put more personality into it, less words that I would never use, and just made it fun. So I'm about halfway through the final edit. Well, I don't even know if I would call this a final edit. I'm adding like overlays, and then I'm gonna add music, so I guess, final edit. But I'm really tired, and it's four o'clock, so I've literally been working since like 9.45 in the morning. I took a little lunch break, but I was also kind of working during it. So I actually, today is like my first, I guess, nine to five day. I don't even have the job yet, but either way, I'll get paid for this video. <laughs> I actually just ran to the store. I should have vlogged that. I'm just like so excited about this job. I keep forgetting to vlog, but I just made a little sandwich and I'm gonna play Sims. And now it is Thursday, so I wanted to give you one more little update before I wrap up this vlog. So you guys are gonna have to wait like me and be all anxious to know if I got the job or if I got the next interview. But I finished the video at like six or seven at night and sent it over to them in one day and they gave me four days to do it. But I literally grinded and sweat, tear, blood, everything dripped into that video. Not really, but kind of. And sent it over. So I'm just waiting to hear back from them and you guys are gonna have to wait like me. So I have no update for you. I'll check my email one more more time refresh yeah still nothing so who knows how long it'll be i don't know how many people have to watch the video before they decide if i'm going to the final interview so i'll probably let you guys know like in the next video <laughs> i'm actually gonna cry okay i actually just heard back as soon as i finished editing this video i went to go like press youtube to start getting ready to upload and saw my email was refreshed i got an email let me just read it to you it says, I'm so excited. Sydney, wow, you continue to blow us away. You're, you absolutely killed your video assignment. Thank you so much for taking time to do that. We can tell how much time and effort you put into the last step as well as the entire process and it speaks volumes to your work ethic. We'd love to invite you to the final step of the process, the final interview with our team. Please click here to schedule a time that works best for you and the Calor invite will send you the Zoom link. We look forward to speaking with you again. I'm so excited. And they told me in the first interview that the final interview would be a little bit more of like a get to know you So I think I kind of have this job in the bag. I'm literally gonna cry. I'm so excited Okay, well, that's all the update I have for you now I scheduled my interview for Monday. So probably next Tuesday on that post I'll give you guys a bit of an update, but I'm incredibly thankful um, literally Shout out to Jesus. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Um, literally gonna go pray right now. <laughs> I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.